Today we're going to do a short tour of the inside of the Harrington Merrill House. The house was built in 1857 to 1858 by Lewis Harrington and his wife Ellen. We're going to walk up to the front door here and welcome you into the house. We're entering right now, which would have been the outer hallway. And we're proceeding into where the next hallway was, where you had entry into the parlor, which is right in this area. There was a fireplace next to the front door here. Now there was a fire in the kitchen and we were, had to take down all of the uh, inside of the house down to the lath and hopefully we will be restoring that. We're now walking into what was the sitting room and there's a nice bay window here. This was added later, not part of the very original design. I was told that this was Ellen Harrington's favorite spot to sit and she could look out at the world. Then we'll proceed back here. There is a doorway down to the basement, but this is a doorway that goes into the kitchen. This was on fire and had to be totally rebuilt. It was rebuilt exactly the way that it was built back in the 1800s with wood from the area and the same type of construction. We go back over here is the stairway to go upstairs. But first, this was what they called the library. I'm assuming that this was Lewis Harrington's office and there was a closet off to the side. So panning around, there was part of the parlor, the door to the outside, bright windows, and the windows for the sitting room. Now we'll go up the stairs. Part of the banister is missing. There is part of it here. Our hope is to restore the inside of the house at some point. Okay, we're at the top of the stairway. This looks like some very old circuitry here. This room is above the summer kitchen, or the winter kitchen, I guess, and this was added on at a later date. It was one of the bedrooms. It's a nice window over the stairway. We proceed down the hallway. There is a bedroom here with, again, a nice little bay window out here that overlooks. And there is a doorway here to what I assume was a closet. We'll go back here. This was, I'm assuming, a bathroom with tile and whatever that must have been added later, not original to the house. Has some tile floor on it. And it looked like there was a medicine cabinet. And it looks like we have a hole in the ceiling up there that needs to be repaired. Down the hallway, there's a little bit of a drop off here. This must have been where the other chimney was, I wonder, because there is a connection for a pipe. And here must have been a closet. And this was original. It's a closet, right? A little storage area here with drawers. Inside. And the last bedroom. This is on the east side of the house. It's quite a large room, actually. Nice views. 
Originally, this is, this is the highest spot in Hutchinson, and we were told that Lewis wanted it that way so that he could see any oncoming people that were coming in, either by boat or by on the roads. And here's more of the bedroom. It is actually quite a large room. And an old ceiling thing. And one other closet. So as you can see, we have a lot of work to do on the inside of the house. And hopefully with the city's help, we'll be able to get it all fixed up and back to the way that it was in the early 1900s so that everyone will be able to come in and enjoy the history. Thanks for being with us. Bye.